Uh, I have an appointment scheduled this week to have an ultrasound on my heart to make sure everything is okay. Like, when I went to the doctor, she said, it may not be a problem, but with the after effects of having COVID, like, these tests are needed. And the first couple of days, it was, like, really hard to breathe. So, especially with people with asthma, lung problems, heart issues, like, the first couple of days, it was really hard to breathe. Like, some days, I didn't even feel like moving. Everything stayed down. It wasn't, I couldn't, like, blow my nose or, you know, I mean, you have the flu, you could blow your nose, you could, stuff like that. But with this, it was just, like, everything just felt there, like, compacted in one spot. So it was, like, it was like it was eating away from the inside, basically. <laughs> and, like, there was nothing much that you could have done. The after effects from what the doctor was telling me, like you could have respiratory infections, you could get a heart infection, you could, inflammation could be spread throughout your system. So they just, so a lot of the tests they run are to make sure that you are basically good and don't have any of these symptoms because the symptoms could be as deadly as the um, virus. Some of us think because we're young and strong, or we're just strong all together, that it doesn't matter about, it doesn't matter what, what happens, but at the end of it all, we still gotta think about people that don't have the strength like us to like fight for ourselves, to recover from certain diseases. The effect it would have on me at my age, being a young, strong athlete, it wouldn't have the same effect on, an, older the person. We can't just be thinking about ourselves, we gotta think about everyone else around us. We gotta figure, we gotta control it in a way that we could reduce the spread. We as humans, we don't like rules. A lot of us don't like rules. Like, we always say rules are meant to be broken. But sometimes we just gotta sit back and think not only about ourselves, but about everyone else surrounding us. Hearing this stuff from the national level and those type of levels, those are people that have health insurance, people that have money. But what about the others that don't have health insurance, don't have uh, money? We still gotta be, be cautionary for them. Like they can't, they wouldn't be able to afford the same treatments that people, that wealthier people could afford. So therefore we're, we're not only putting, we're putting them at risk, at an even higher risk because they don't have the stuff we have, the resources we have. My name is Ashan Jardin, I'm 22 years of age and I just recently recovered from COVID-19.